I'm so glad that we're together. I'm so glad you're near. It's good when friends are together. I'm so glad I'm here. Welcome to the workshop. Welcome, welcome to my special friend. I'm so happy and delighted you are near today. I'm so glad you came to visit. I'm so glad I'm here. It's going to be a really good day all because you're near. I'm so glad that we can be friends, learn together, grow together, talk together, sing together, a song or maybe two. One, two. I'm so glad you came to visit. I'm so glad I'm here. It's going to be a really good day all because you're near. Definitely. Let me put this away. And welcome to our workshop. Do you notice I brought a box with me today? Do you remember last time we went to look at a piano and inside were strings and hammers? Remember how I said that when you touch the key on the keyboard, how it made a small hammer inside the piano strike a string? Well, a friend of mine was tuning a piano and one of the strings broke on that piano. Well. I asked if I could have it, have the old string, the string that broke, and he said, sure. And that's what I have in this box. I want you to see how large this piano string is. Isn't that amazing? Let's compare it to the strings on my guitar. See how much bigger this string is than the strings on the guitar? In fact, this string is bigger than the guitar. Isn't that amazing? I'm going to carefully put this string away because it has sharp edges, especially right where it broke. Put it back in its box and we'll put the top back on the box. And I'll set that box on the chair for safekeeping. I was looking at my guitar, and what do you notice about my guitar? What is this? It's the sun. And how about this? The moon and stars and a shooting star. I have a young friend that really loves the shooting star. What does the sun do? That's right, the sun produces light, doesn't it? And the moon reflects the light of the sun at night. And some stars reflect the light of the sun. The shooting star, they often make light. Thinking about making light. And the sun and the moon reminds me of a song that we sometimes sing. I'm gonna let my light shine. I'm gonna let my light shine. I'm gonna let my light shine all over this land. I'm gonna let my light shine. I'm gonna let my light shine. I'm gonna let my light shine all over this land. Ah, oh, and that reminds me, I brought this picture by the workshop earlier. A young friend of mine drew this picture. Her name is Ellie. She said, this is a picture of me, me and my guitar. And if you look carefully, she has even drawn the sun and the moon that are on my guitar, the sun and the moon. Ellie did a really good job with this picture, didn't she? I'm sure proud of Ellie, and I'm sure proud of you, too. I love to draw pictures. When I was a child, I loved to draw pictures. When I was a child, I loved to make music. I even had a little guitar when I was a child that I loved to play. Even though I didn't know how to play it like I know how to play a guitar now, I still enjoyed my little guitar. 
When I was a child, I also loved to be read to. Why don't you and I finish our book, It Must Be a Weed? Come with me to the reading corner. Let's get It Must Be a Weed and find our place. Welcome, little one. I am glad you came to see me again, stated a warm, familiar voice. Bluebird turned to see Al. Oh, it's you, said Bluebird in disgust. I can tell by the sound of your voice you are not happy to see me, replied Al. Nope, 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 snapped Bluebird. I did not come to see you, Al. I was looking for a tree with green leaves to live in. None of the trees around here have green leaves. A tree without green leaves is in the wrong place. Now, as for you, Bluebird continued, you are the grandest bird I have ever seen, but you sleep the day away and come out at night. Birds fly by daylight and sleep by moonlight. Al, you are in the wrong place. An old bird named Corncrow once told me that a flower growing in the wrong place is a weed, so I guess that means anything in the wrong place is a weed. Al sat quietly and listened to Bluebird. Finally, Owl began to speak tenderly. The parts in the body, every one of them, is arranged just as they are to be, said Owl. I do not understand, Bluebird told her. Well, I am nocturnal. Being nocturnal means I prefer to work at night. That is why I sleep during the day and fly at night. You are diurnal, little one. That means you prefer to work in daylight. Together, you and I provide a 24-hour watch of the woodland body. Ow! Bluebird flapped his wings in excitement. This means that not everything or every creature I consider different or odd is a weed. Bluebird chirped in excitement. Rightly so, Owl answered with a smile. Bluebird grew still and thought of all the wonderful creatures he had met on his journeys. How wonderful that he understood that they were all full of beauty, and each one special. Al continued, This tree is an evergreen. It does not change the color of its needles. All of us in the woodland are different, so we can perform the unique task for which we were created. Bluebird yawned. Yawn. 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 Al, Bluebird said in a sleepy voice, I am sorry I called you a weed. I forgive you, Bluebird. I am proud of the way you are learning and growing, Al said lovingly. Now I must go watch the woodland tonight, and you need to get your sleep so you will be fresh to watch the woodland in the morning. Good night, little one. Al whispered. Bluebird made no reply. Bluebird was already asleep. Snore, snore, snore. The next day, Bluebird returned to his old tree and his old nest. Bluebird looked down to see a flower blooming. Bluebird flew down to admire the flower. Bluebird softly spoke to the flower. You are not a weed. You are a beautiful part of the woodland body. You bring me joy. You make me smile. These are all parts of the special job for which you are created. So Bluebird has discovered that everything has value and everything has purpose. Even a flower growing outside of a garden. And that's true, everything and everyone, every person, has value and purpose. No two people are exactly alike. You might look a little like someone else, and you might sound a little like someone else, but you are not that person, and they are not you. And that makes you unique, and it gives you great value and great purpose. Yes. You have value and purpose, and I have value and purpose. And guess what? I like you 
because you are you. I like you cause you're you. I like you like you are. There's simply no one like you. And I like you cause you're you. There's no one quite like you. An original creation. And in a thousand years or two, there'll be no other like you. I like you cause you're you. Your mom and dad might look like you, your brother, sister, cousin too. When you take a closer look, you'll see that they're not quite like you. Guess what? I like you cause you're you. I like you cause you're you. I like you like you are. There's simply no one like you. And I like you cause you're you. I like you cause you're you. I like you like you are. There's simply no one like you. And I like you cause you're you. There's no one quite like you, an original creation, and in a thousand years or two there'll be no other like you. I like you cause you're you, your mom and dad might look like you, your brother, sister, cousin too. When you take a closer look you'll see that they're not quite like you. Guess what? I like you cause you're you, I like you cause you're you. I like you like you are, there's simply no one like you, and I like you cause you're you. I do like you cause you're you. Let's get our model toys, the characters that we pretend about in fantasy. Today I think we'll get all of them down. Californian Duncan Fife and Tusks, and Paul Paul Douglas, Audrey, and Lenny, and Mumbo. It's Giggle Button and Poe. Vuli. Boo Caribou. And Fuzzy, who the friends have been looking for. We'll get Mumbo's Treehouse Workshop, and we'll get Audrey's Pumpkin Lighthouse. All of our fantasy friends today. Now remember last time, Mumbo text Poe and ask if he could fly around the sky to try to find Fuzzy. They would like to see if Fuzzy will play the part of the sun in the musical that Audrey and Vuli are writing. Let's pretend more about that now. I cannot believe it. The musical is finished. Vuli, we did it. Audrey, I know. Our first musical. A few times ago, we didn't know what to write about. And thanks to our friends, we have a finished musical. And we managed to write everyone in who wanted a part. The only thing that worries me is that we have the part of the sun, and we're not sure if Fuzzy wants that part or not. Hey, Mumbo, has Poe texted us? Yes, he just texted me a minute ago. And? He cannot find Fuzzy anywhere. It's like Fuzzy and his balloon have vanished. Text Poe back. We need to start rehearsal if we're going to have this musical ready to perform next time. Next time? Sure. Why not? That's too quick. You're forgetting. This is fantasy, and anything is possible in fantasy. True. Hey, I have a friend who is a professional singer. Let me go give my friend a call. If Fuzzy doesn't show up in time to play the part of the sun... Maybe my friend would be willing to play the part of the sun. Mumbo, may I use your phone? Sure. It's over there. Thanks, Mumbo. Now, what's that number? Oh, yes. Two...
Fuzzy, where are you? I have searched every corner of these fantasy skies and I cannot find you or your balloon anywhere. Oh, that's my phone. Maybe it's Mumbo. Let me park on the cloud and I'll answer. It is Mumbo. He says to turn around and come back for rehearsal. Let me text him back. Okay. Send. Well, Fuzzy, we tried. I like to fly in my hot air balloon And watch the sky from my hot air balloon I like to fly in my hot air balloon And watch the clouds in my hot air balloon All the people look like ants on the ground down below Cause I'm way up high in my hot air balloon Way up high In my hot air balloon And I like to see that bird Go by flying high in the sky From my hot air balloon I'm so glad I decided to take this vacation I'll be back in another time So the others haven't been able to find Fuzzy because he's on vacation. I wonder if he'll be back in time to be part of the musical. If he is, I wonder if he'll even want to be part of the musical. Did you hear Audrey? She's planning to have the musical next time. And they don't have anyone to play the part of the son. I wonder who Viewley's friend is that might take the part. Well, I guess we'll pretend about the musical next time. Let's put our models, our toys away, and then let's make a hot air balloon craft. I know I have everything I need here at the workshop in my craft bag. Let's see. We'll start with Audrey's lighthouse. And we'll put Mumbo's Treehouse Workshop away. We'll put Tusk away. And Viewly. And Boo Caribou. And Fuzzy. And Giggle Button. And Mumbo. And Lenny and California and Duncan Fife. Audrey, Paw Paul Douglas, and Poe. Poe can fly. Oh, so much fun. Now for that craft. We'll need a balloon. See if it'll stay there. You can use any color balloon you want for this craft. And our craft bag. And of course, tape. Now, if you remember from our fantasy play, what was under Fuzzy's hot air balloon. The balloon was here. What was attached? That's right, a basket. And that's what I have this cup for. This cup can be our basket. These two straws can be the strings that hold the basket to the hot air balloon. And this balloon can be the hot air balloon. So first, I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to tape one straw inside the cup like so. Okay. Then I'm going to take 
and you can use any color cup or any color straw that you want. I'm just using what I have handy, what I have kept for occasions such as this. Let's see. I will put this straw, tape it in, like so. Now we have part of our hot air balloon, but what's missing? The balloon, that's right. And again, you can make any color balloon you want. So, I'll get some tape. So I want to be very careful not to pop this balloon. Because I don't have another balloon here at the workshop. So I'm going to tape to that side. And I'm going to do the same on this side. And guess what? We have our very own hot air balloon. You can pretend it's going up. Flying away, slowly. Mr. Chuck, peekaboo. Where's Mr. Chuck? Peekaboo. I wonder if one of our fantasy characters could could uh, be in the boat. I'm um, or the boat, the hot air balloon. I wonder if Vuli would fit. Oh, Vuli's too big, isn't he? How about Mumbo? Let's see. Or how about Boo Caribou? I bet he's right about the right size. He is. And we could pretend that Boo is going up in the hot air balloon. 
and that Boo was coming back in the hot air balloon. And then Boo gets out of the hot air balloon and he goes back to the shelf where we keep him when we're not playing with him. You can make this craft at home with the adult that you love. Again, you can use any color cup that you want, any color straws that you want. You could use more straws than just two if you'd like. You could decorate your balloon. The sky's the limit. Use your creativity. I like our hot air balloon. Well, it's about time for me to be getting back to work. I need to put our stuff away for another day. And I know some school children who would love this hot air balloon. Oh, and the crown that we made last time. I wonder. It could be a royal hot air balloon. <laughs> I know some school children who would love to play with this crown and this hot air balloon. I think I'll take it to them. Come on. And you know when we'll be together. Next time, I will see you next time. We will be together next time. We'll sing a song or two or three. We'll sing it strong and merrily. Next time, when we're together next time Next time, I will see you next time We will work together next time We'll talk together openly About important things we see Next time, when we're together next time Next time we're together we get to see our Fantasy Friends musical. I'm eager to see how all that turns out. You know, I was thinking, sometimes people dress up when they go to the theater. I might wear something extra fancy next time while we watch the musical. I like being with you, remember, I like you because you are you. See you next time.